Well, in just a couple of days, motorcycles will once again take over at downtown Sarasota for the 16th annual Thunder by the Bay. SNN local news reporter Amber Stidham joins us now as they get ready to rev it up. That is right. We are all so excited for this event, especially being your first year in Sarasota, Mike. <laughs> SNN local news is proud to be the exclusive television sponsor of this year's Thunder by the Bay. Today, I found out just what this event means to the community. It's become one of the largest fundraising events on the Sun Coast. And this weekend, bikes and bands are taking over for the 16th annual Thunder by the Bay, all to benefit Sun Coast charities for children. Festival director Lucy Nicandri tells me over the years, the event has helped raise $14 million to build facilities for local nonprofits. Sarasota County Special Olympics, the Florida Center for Early Childhood, Community Haven, uh, we did a hydrotherapy pool at Oak Park School, Children First, uh, and uh, Loveland Center in Venice. So facilities from Northport, Venice, into Sarasota have all seen the benefits. But even a large festival like this had humble beginnings. Well, it may be hard to believe that 16 years ago, Thunder by the Bay started on a bar napkin and only 100 bikes, and it's grown from there. I don't know what it is about the event, but it has, there's other events and we're involved in them, but there's nothing that we've been involved with that's quite this big, and there's nothing I know about anywhere that really draws this much and has raised this much for the charity. Last year's festival generated a $6.4 million economic impact to the area. We had over 3,000 room nights booked, so it's a great boost for the local economy, the local businesses, but it's also a great fundraiser for Suncoast Charities for Children. Thunder by the Bay is just around the corner. The events get started Thursday night with the kickoff party. It's a whiskey, wine, and cigar tasting. I'm not sure about those things, but I sure would like to check out some of those bikes. Exactly. They're pretty cool. <laughs> All right, Amber, thank you. And for more information, you can go to thunderbythebay.org.